Good morning and welcome to day 955 in a row of working out. This is your daily fitness and triathlon training vlog. I just worked out and I'm here to talk about it. I'm in the car and you know what that means. I'm in a rush. I didn't have time to talk about my workout when I was done with it, but there it is. It was a one hour run. Now today was a little bit of a different workout. I only did just over six miles today because a lot of it was sprint work. Talked about this quite a bit in terms of how you should divvy up your training. 80% of your training should be in that zone two area for endurance stuff. Basically meaning low intensity, high volume training. But that other 20% should be dedicated to sprint work, interval training, fartlex, things like that because that's going to help increase that VO2 max. The, the zone two stuff is to help build that aerobic base and then doing the sprint high intensity interval stuff helps increase that VO2 max, that lactate threshold. The workout today was a 15 minute warm up, and then it was three different sets. Each set had a 20 second sprint followed by a one minute jog. You would do that six times then had a three minute rest in between each set. And like I said, I did three sets of those. It was uh, pretty intense. We were cooking in those sprints. It feels good to open the uh, gates, flood gates, and just let loose. Uh, but that's it for the workout. Now, I'm gonna be working out later, so we'll check in after that one. But I wanna talk about inserts for your shoes. This is a topic that over the years, I have talked to so many people that don't wear them and then I convince them to wear them and it's like magic. A lot of their pain, aches and pains go away and they just really help you. I'm gonna educate you on inserts real quick here. Inserts, first of all, are for everybody. I was in the mindset when I first started running inserts, those are for like old people, right? Like orthopedics. The idea behind the insert is that a lot of people, I did talk about shoe support last week. Now don't get confused. Shoe support and inserts are two completely different things. Shoe support, just to recap what we talked about last week, is based on your gait. So whether you have a neutral or a stability shoe will be dependent upon what kind of gait that you have. But that has nothing to do with what's actually inside the bottom of the shoe. Meaning, everybody has an arch profile. Now I know what you're saying. I have a flat foot. I hear that all the time. You do not. Flat feet is a relative term. You may have a low arch, but you still have an arch. Think about if you were to put paint on the bottom of your feet and take a step and walk, how much of your foot is going to be on the ground? That's just like one dimension of a foot profile. But an insert is basically something that fills in the negative space between the bottom of your foot, that arch, and the bottom of your shoe. This situation obviously be a very high arch, but it's to exaggerate the point. The idea is as you're running, especially the more time that you're on your feet, you have what's called your navicular bone. That's kind of the part that juts out at your ankle. And over time, you lose rigidity in your arch. So your navicular bone starts to turn in more and more and it creates kind of like that zigzag up your body. And that's where you can create pressure points like getting knee pain, hip pain, stuff like that keeps it out it throws it out of whack and it exaggerates the longer that you're on your feet now an arch support is going to help keep everything in place starting at the bottom of your foot so if your navicular bone and you know that your arch are not moving nothing else is going to move up your body in which case that will help relieve or alleviate some of that pain or aches and bumps that you're getting from running my suggestion would be to go to a local run specialty store uh, and get fit. Uh, even at like, I live in Dallas and we have a place called Shields here. I saw that they even have a uh, foot scan. And it's really cool, you stand on this platform, it does a 3D foot scan of your foot and they'll be able to suggest what arch is going to, what arch support is gonna be perfect for you. Now, you're gonna wanna take the insert out of your shoe that it came with to replace it. It's another issue I see people have is they'll keep it's because if when you take it out, you'll notice it's a really flimsy, it doesn't do anything. Take that out and then put your new arch support in there because I've seen people try to jam it in there and then that raises your foot up into the shoe and that creates pain too that's 
unnecessary because it's not supposed to be there. But that's my tip of the day, arch supports. I am, I'm not even gonna say a firm believer. It's, I don't wear shoes without arch supports. I'll put it that way, even in my day to day. As soon as I get a pair of shoes, I buy the arch supports to go with them. And then I just rip the ones out of the shoes that they came with and I throw them out. Take my advice on that one. That's a huge, huge bit of advice, especially for runners. Thanks for watching. We're gonna check in after our uh, strength workout later on. Have a great day and we'll see you later. What's up? We're on the other side of workout number two. We're on our way home. I got a little bit carried away about talking about inserts earlier. I'm not gonna make this long. I wanna keep these short. Today was a chest and arms workout. The chest workout was just like yesterday. We're in the part of the phase of the training program that I'm on where it's just pretty much straightforward sets. So a lot of four sets of 12, four sets of eight, staying in that hypertrophy. I know that's probably not how you say it. I've only ever seen it written, but muscle building phase, rep range. And in the middle of the workout was 100 push-ups. So that was pretty brutal. Fatigued that chest before hitting some more. I finished on an arm circuit with tricep press downs on the machine with tricep extensions, individual arms with the dumbbell. It was a great workout, but that's it for today. Thanks for following as always. I really put a ton of effort into these workouts and videos. Please like the video. Every little like that you click gets me closer to my goal of I don't know, I don't even have a goal. I just wanna grow this channel and uh, grow the community. Thanks for following. Make sure, subscribe. Make sure you uh, comment. Let me know what you think about these videos. If there's anything you'd like to see, please let me know. Day 955 in a row, working out, the streak's alive. Goldie checking out from Dallas, Texas. We'll see you tomorrow.